Hey foodies, thanks for watching. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a French cheese baguette. And this is so good. Crusty on the outside, soft and chewy on the inside. You're gonna love it, your guests are gonna love it, your kids are gonna love it. It's just so great. Let's get started. So I'm starting with Frankie's bread mix. Frankie's has a bread mix and it already has the yeast, the baking soda, the citric acid, it has salt, it has everything in it except for oil and water. And that's what we're gonna use today. So I'm using 600 grams of Frankie's mix, bread mix, two cups of tepid water, and a quarter cup of salad oil, a vegetable oil like canola or sunflower would work, but anything light. You may not want to use olive oil as it's quite a heavy oil, but by all means, give it a try. Let me know in the comments what yours turned out like if you tried olive oil. Okay, and I'm gonna put this up and we're gonna mix it. So I've mixed it for about 20 to 30 seconds at this point. I'm gonna scrape down the sides and it's really well mixed already. What you'll notice when it comes to gluten-free baking, especially when it comes to breads, is things are a lot, a lot stickier. And that's because something has to compensate for the gluten or, and the elasticity of the bread. And, and adding more moisture to the bread allows it to expand a lot easier. So um, what you want to do now that you've scraped down the walls is you want to really really whip it. You want to really mix it up. You can do this by hand but it's going to be a lot easier using like a food processor or a stand mixer or hand beaters or something like that. Really whip in lots of air. It'll really make it really good and fluffy. So I've let this whip for a good 60 to 90 seconds and you can see like it's it's really, really well combined. And you're probably thinking to yourself at this point, wait a minute, you haven't added the cheese. That's right, I haven't added the cheese. I wanna put in roughly a half a cup or, or more. If you're a bit of a cheese monster like my daughter is, you're gonna to wanna to add a bit more. And I'm using a really old cheddar. I'm using a six year old cheddar, but any kind of cheese should work. Choose your favorite, cause you're the one that's gonna eat it. And the reason why I didn't put it in the stand mixer is I don't want it being broken up really, really fine. I want big chunks of cheese when I bite into it. And the oven is gonna soften it and melt a lot of it anyway. So you can see, like I'm just breaking it up into like bite-sized portions. And then I'm just gonna fold this in just so that it's nicely combined the oven is going to do the most of the work of mixing the cheese with the bread. There we go. So I'm going to push that aside. Now, I've got my baguette mold here. You can tell it's been well used. We love our baguettes in our house. And you probably don't need a piece of parchment paper, but I, I love the security that parchment paper gives me, it means that whatever I make means it's never going to stick to what I'm putting it in. And it just, it's that little security blanket that I like to have. There we go, easy peasy. And then you wanna scoop. I'm using a portion scoop here to get some portions of baguette in. And I'm gonna flip to the other side. Oops. There we go. There. Now, if you don't have a baguette pan, because who, who in their right mind has a baguette pan, you can always go out and buy one, and they're pretty, pretty easy to find. You might find them at Canadian Tire or Walmart, somewhere like that, or definitely a specialty kitchen shop would have them. But this makes wonderful buns as well. And you can just scoop 
bun portions and, and just make buns. But today I'm making a baguette because I want to have a baguette for dinner. And I'm going to spread this out. Okay. So at this point, if you want to brush it lightly with oil or put some sesame seeds on it, this is the time to do that. I'm going to let it sit in a warm environment on top of my stove is where I put mine, covered with a bit of plastic of some sort for about 20 minutes, just for it to proof itself. And then it's going to go in a preheated oven at 350 degrees for 20 to 30 minutes. I'm going to check an internal temperature, make sure it comes to 99 Celsius, and that tells me that my bread is ready. So we'll see it when it comes out of the oven. Oh, look at this. So this baguette ended up taking about 25 minutes in my oven. Um, I've got convection, so your oven might be a little different, but the internal temperature reading came to 99 degrees Celsius. And it's amazing. I mean, you can see the, the, the little bit of mm, burnt cheese. It's so good. I didn't put anything on top of mine just to give you an idea of what it looks like. You can see like there's no oil and it's, it's got a really nice crust. It's, it's a bit soft on the outside, but I'm, I'm happy with that. And I want to see what it looks like. So let's just take one of these, slide it out. It's still very hot. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. oh, look at that. That looks wonderful. So I'm going to just take a slice. You can see the steam coming off of it. You can see the, the pocket of cheese. Oh my goodness. And it's just, it's throughout the whole thing. I'm so excited. This is going to be so nice to dip in like a stew or a soup. Maybe have it as a, a big crusty sandwich. You name it, it's going to be exciting. Mm. 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 I'm so excited to see if you try this. Let me know in the comments below how you did and what your results were. Maybe you had a fun flavor that you added. Maybe you put garlic in it, make it like garlic cheese bread. Let me know. I look forward to reading all of your comments. Thanks for watching. Today we are making uh, French baguettes. Maybe for the outtakes. Yeah, it could be fun. <laughs>